Okay, dear viewers, welcome again to our online learning program. Today is another day, you see call my tower for keeping us safe and alive. And today we are proceeding with our lesson in algebra and that is solving word problems. Solving words, solving word problems. Leo tunangaria jinsi ya ku ya kufanya maswali ya mafumbo ya somo ya algebra kwa hiyo tuanze na mfano wa kwanza hapa swali la kwanza linasema umepewa hapa weni linasema hivi weni eh sente ni namba weni sente ni namba Number K is added is added to seven. The result is Kunatatu Lili Chinatatu. Find the K. Find K. Find K. Find K. Solution. Sasa, you are given question like that one. Umepewa swari kama hilo hapo. Unambiwa. When a certain number K is added to 7, the result is 13, 2 over 3. Find K. So in order to solve a algebraic equation, first of all, you have to understand, you have to read well the you have to read the question carefully, understand it, and then formulate an equation. Formulate an equation. Kwanza unatakua ulisome swali mizuri, ulelewe, na kisha utengeneza equation au mringani. Swali nasema, when a certain number k is added to 7, the result is 13, 2 over 3. Find K. So you are given a known. You set the number K. You are given K. Given. Apu, you are given. Umepewa. When a certain number K is added to. Added means. Added means to plus. Is added to plus. Is added to 7. When K is added to 7. The result, result is, the result is equal to, result equal, is equal to 13, 2, and 2 over 3. Find K is equal to how much? Maona swali letwe, kwayo swali umetewa ni wedi problem, kwayo wewe umetengeneza hii question kutoka kwenye wedi problem. Ana kwambia number flani K inapojumishwa na saba, Jiblake ni sana sana kumina tatu mbili chini ya tatu. Tafuta K. K, K ni ngapi kwa yu solution. Dovana mwanzo tukasoma tukandika zile kiwe niza kukwezesha kuweza kujua kwa mbatendo gani unatakiwa utumie. Kwa mfano leno ade di tu, ade di tu manake ni jumrisha. Wene sete ni number K, K ndo number mba tunaitafuta. Unknown. A letter. Ndo tunaitafuta. Is ade di tu seven, the result is that one. The result is... Is equal to 13, 2 over 3. Find K. Okay, now we have to solve this. is very simple. We proceed as follows. In order to solve, to solve for the value of K, we have to shift that 7 to that side of 2. 13, 2 and 2 over 3. So therefore, we take K okay, is equal to 13, 2 over 3. 13, 2 over 3, minus 7. So therefore, we proceed as follow. There, in order to minus, we have to minus there, we take 15, 10, 13, minus that one. So here, minus that one. 13 minus 7, you get how much? 13 minus 7. 13 minus 7. So this one, 2 over 3 minus 0 because there is 0 and there is fraction here. 0 fraction, you don't see. So zero fra 
2 over 3 minus 0, you get what? 2 over 3. And then you take 13 minus 7. Kumina tatu kituwa 7, wapata nga? 6. Kumina tatu kituwa 7, hibi hake ni 6. Kwa hivyo, therefore, find, find the value of k. Find k. Therefore, the value of k is equal to that one. k is equal to 6, 2 over 3. That is the value of o. That is the value of k. Kwa hivyo, k is the money hake ni hiyo. Na chani hako soniletu. Let us go to example number two. This is example number one. Example number two, it says that if the product If the product of two and a half and the another number and another number is ninety, find the number. Find the number. So you are given question like that one. You are asking you there to find the number. If the product, if the product of two and a half and another number is ninety, find the number. So here we are required to find the number. So what is the number? In order to solve this question, first of all, we have to understand. That's why before starting this lesson, I, I introduced an introduction of this of this subject on how to solve introduction concerning word problem so that you can know the keyword which are used when you, when you are formulating which when you are formulating an algebraic equation because in order to solve a word problems you have to formulate equation from that problem so how do you formulate equation through that keyword through understanding those keywords though those keywords which are present in this question so if the product of two and a half and another number is 90, find the number. First of all, you are asking me if the product, product means what? Product means multiplication. So two and a half is multiplied by another number. When two and a half is multiplied by another number, the result is 90. Find that number. So do you know that number? You don't know. So let say let another number be let another number uh, be x b a. Let another number be a. So therefore now product. Product means Product, product means what? Product means multiplication. That is product. So therefore, two and a half times another number, that is A, the result is what? 90. The result is 90. So A is equal to how much? Umepewa swari hapo, unambio kwamba Kama zao la B, namba B na nusu Na namba nyingine ni tisini Tafuta, na, tafuta namba Kwa hiyo utafuta hiyo namba Ye hiyo namba unaitafkari Umeambiwa zao la namba mbili Mbili na nusu Na namba nyingine ni tisini Tafuta namba hiyo namba nyingine Ambayo hailuikani Kwa hiyo hapo kwenye kusovu njia Tunaonyesha kwamba tunalazima tuleti Kuleti manake tunashumu, tunadhania kwamba namba hiyo 
unaipa herufi fulani kwamba labda tuseme namba hiyo ni nini a kwa hiyo unatusema una, namba hiyo ni a na umeambiwa product product maana yake ni product maana yake ni nini kuzidisha kwa hiyo unapochukua mbili na nusu ukazidisha na a jibu sawa sawa na ngapi tisini je unataka utafute hii hey sasa a hey, je thamani yake ni ngapi ndio hiyo anaja nao kwa hiyo hapo sasa kumisha tengeneza equation kwa hiyo tunafanya kama ifuatavyo kwa hiyo tunachukua mbili mara mbili ngapi maana tuna change mixed fraction into improper fraction 2 times 2 you get how much 4 4 times plus 1 you get 5 5 over 2 times a you get 5 over 2a is equal to what 90 is equal to 90 so therefore in order to get a we have to eliminate this two this denominator two in order to eliminate denominator two we have to multiply it on both sides so multiply by two on both sides multiply by two on both sides now we are going to multiply 5a 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 over 2 is equal to 90 so here times a times a a times 2 times 2 here times 2 times 2 so 2 and 2 here cancel remains 5a is equal to 90 times 2 so in order to get a there we have to divide by 5 on we have to divide by 5 on both sides so divide by 5 divide by 5 so therefore we will get a is equal to 5 and 5 cancel remain a a is equal to by 5 1 by 5 here it's 1 and remain here 3 1 remain here 4 8 so 18 18 times 2 you get what that is so therefore the number is therefore another number is another number is such a 6 you were asked to find the number so another number because the question said and another number so another number is that is six so you see how you have solved it so that is how we solve an algebraic uh, uh, that is how to uh, that is how to solve word problems kwa hiyo unatengeneza equation alafu unafanya mpaka hapo unapata jibu okay now let us go to example number 3 This was example number 2. Example number 3. Example number 3 you are given here another question. Example number 3 the question says that the sum the sum the sum of a number the sum of a number and the 50 percent of that number is 21 find the number find the number and the sum of a number and the 50% of that number is 21 find the number swali so, linasema hivi jumla ya namba na asilimia 50 ya namba hiyo jumla ya namba namba fulani haijulikani jumla ya namba fulani na asilimia 50 ya namba hiyo jumla yake ni ngapi 21 tafuta namba hiyo je namba hiyo ni ngapi kwa hiyo solution kwa hiyo kusolve lazima ulielewe swali solution you have to understand the question the sum of a number and of that number and the 50% of that number is 21 find the number do you know the number you don't know so let that let the number let 
a letter representing that number. Let a certain letter represent that number. Oyo, tutasema, let, let the number be, let the number, let the number be what? Why? Now we are letting, we, we, we have let that, we have let, we have let the number to be y. We have let the number to be y. So therefore, we have let the number to be y. So the sum of a number, that is number y. The sum of a number and the 50% of that number. Sum of a number, that is y. And 50%, 50% of that number, 50% of that number, 50% times that number, that number is y is equal to 50% 50y percent. So now find uh, and the sum, you are given the sum, sum of the numbers, sum of the numbers is equal to what? to 21. So, find the number. number. That number is equal to how much? Well, to my same upper, to my power sorry, jumla ya number na amsilimia amsini ya number hiyo ni shina moja. Umepewa number flani na ukijumlisha asilimia amsini ya number hiyo ni blake ni shina moja. Tafuta number hiyo. Je number hiyo ni ngapi? Sasa hili kweza kupata lazima tutengeneze ikweza. Nasema let the number be y. Number hiyo hiyo nini? A y. Kwa hiyo asilimia hamsini ya number hiyo itakuwa ni asilimia hamsini y ya number hiyo. Asilimia hamsini y. Asilimia hamsini y. Na jumla ya number hizo, hiyo number na asilimia hamsini ya hiyo number jumla hake ni gapi shina moja. Kwa hiyo jumla malake nini? The sum means what? Means plus. So we take the number. That is y plus 50% of that number. 50% of that number. This is equivalent by writing 50 over y. 50 over 50 over 100 y. 50 over 100 y is equal to 21. So now let us find the number. In order to do it, we do as follow. We do as follow here, we put it y over 1 in order to make it equal to this one so that we can, we can, do, we can easily calculate it. So therefore we have to find the LCM between, we can do this 0 and the 0 here cancel, so remain y plus 5 over 10 y is equal to 21. So now let us find the LCM between 1 and 10, and that is what? 10. So, tunatafuta KBS kati ya moja na kumi. Kwa kumi ni haya kwa moja, get 10. 10 times y, get 10 y. Plus, 10 divided by 10, 1. 1 plus 5, you get 5 y. Is equal to 21. So, in order to solve there, we have to eliminate this 10 below. How do we eliminate? We have to eliminate. Before eliminate, let plus. There, when we plus upward, we will get 15y over 10 is equal to 21. So, in order to remove 10, we have to multiply by 10 both sides. On both sides. So, here, multiply by 10. Here, multiply by 10. 10 and 10 cancel. Remain 15y times there. So in order to get to y, we have to divide it by 15. Divide it by 15. So 15 and 15 cancel remains y is equal to there we simplify. By 5, 2. By 5, 3. By 3, 1. By 3, 7. So there, 7 times 2, we get 40. So find the number. So therefore, we say that here, therefore, the number is 
to the number is 14. So the number is 14. So when you take 14 and then you plus 50% of that 14, you will get it. You will get it. You will get 21. And that is you can prove 14 by 10, 1, by 10, 2. So 14 plus a half of that 14 because 50% is, is the same as a half. 50% is the same as a half. A half y. 50% is the same as a half. So therefore, if we take 14 plus a half of 14, a half of 14 is equal to how much? 7. So if 14 plus 7, you will get what? 21. So that is the correct answer there. The answer there is 14. Let us look example number four. Example number four here. Example number four. We are given the the question says that the total the total weight. The total weight of Wari and the Duma is one hundred and eighty kilogram. If if the weight if the weight of Wari is 10 kilogram less than less than that of Juma uh -huh. find their weight find there, wait. This is our last, last example for today. You are given the, the question there that the total weight, the total weight of Ari and Yuma, total weight of Ari and Yuma, the total weight of Ari and Yuma is 180 kilogram, 180 kilogram. If the weight of Ari is 10 kilogram less than that of Yuma find their weight the question is very understandable the question is very understandable wanasema kwamba jumla ya uzito wa ari na juma ni kilogram mia moja semani kwa kiswahili jumla ya uzito wa ari na juma ni kilogram mia moja semanini kama Uzito wa ali ni pungufu ya kilogram kumi. Ni pungufu kama ali ana uzito wa kilogram kumi. Pungufu ya uzito wa ali. Tafuta uzito wao. Tafuta uzito wao. Ye, kila moja ana uzito kiasi gani. Ali ana uzito kiasi gani na juma ana uzito kiasi gani. Ikiwa ali uzito wake ni kilogram kumi. Pungufu ya juma. Kwa manake hapa ukielewa swali kwamba juma atakuwa ni mkubwa kuliko nani ali kwa mfano kama juma atakuwa na miaka kama juma atakuwa na umri wa kilogramu 20 basi ali atakuwa na pungufu ya kumi ya 20 kwa hiyo ali atakuwa na uzito wa kilogramu ngapi kumi. kwa sababu juma ana 20 ali ana ana, ana pungufu ya ana pungufu ya kumi ya uzito wa nani wa juma sasa tunafanyaje solution solution 
Well, in order to solve this any problem, first of all, you have to understand them because without understanding them, you will not be able to do them. So you have to understand them very well. So here, we have to formulate the total, first we have to read well the question, the total weight of Hari and Yuma is that one, 180 kilograms. If the weight of Hari is 10 kilograms less than that of Yuma, find the weight. So now let us write the names of those two people we are given. So we will say, we will say let X, let X be, let X, let X, let X be weight of R. Let X be weight of who? Be weight of Yuma. Weight of who? Yuma. So now here we have R and here we have Yuma. We have two people here, Ari and Yuma. And we have let the X be weight of Yuma because weight weight of weight because if the weight of Ari is ten kilogram less than that of Yuma. So we have let the weight of Yuma be what? X. So if Yuma here this one is Yuma, this one is R. If Yuma has X weight, so if Yuma has X weight R will be X minus what? 10. R is the weight, weight of R will be X minus 10. Because Yuma is the, oh, Yuma is older than R. Yuma is older than R. R is younger than Yuma. Kwa hiyo hapa, Yuma ni mkubwa zaidi kuliko nani? R. Kwa sababu Yuma amempita R miaka mingapi. Uzito R ni pungufu ya kilogram kumi za za nini ya uzito wa Yuma. Kwa hiyo anasema swali hiyo tumeshatengeneza hapo. Kwa hiyo tukaleti let x be weight of Yuma, tukasema Yuma kama ana x basi hali atakuwa na x vitu kumi. Lakini anakwambiaje swali the total weight of R and Yuma is sasa jumla ya uzito wa watu wawili, Yuma na R. R na Yuma, jumla yao maana kujumlisha. Sawa sawa na ngapi? Mia semanini kilogram kwa ya nakwambia tafuta uzito wa kila moja tafuta uzito wa juma ye yeah, huyu juma anangapi na huyu wali na eh, huyu wali anangapi na huyu juma anangapi kwa ya hapo kufanya tunafanya kama ifatari kusha tengeneza equation kusha tengeneza equation kwa ya maisha anakuwa laisi sana kwa ya nakuwa x x ukitoa Xi ukitoa kumi jumisha Xi sawa sawa na 180. Kwa tutafuta X ya X na X tunaweka pamoja X plus X minus 10 sawa sawa na 180. Kwa hiyo inakuwa hapo 2X minus 10 is equal to 180. Plus 180 plus 10 you get how much? You get 190. 0 9 0. So 1 and 9. So there we divide by 2x. 2x is equal to 1, 9. Divide by 2, divide by 2. 2 and 2 cancel. It remain x is equal to x is equal to how much? By 2, y. By 2 here, it's 9. And here, 95. We get 95. So x is equal to 95. Tumona eh? E, tulikosea hapa kwenye kujumlisha kwa mimi nilitoa baada ya kujumlisha kwa kujumlisha unapata 190 190 ukigawanya kwa mimi unapata 95 kwa hiyo therefore hapa sasa tutapata hivi eh weight of r weight of r ambayo tumepewa hapo ni x minus 10 ambayo hapa sasa inakuwa ni 95 kg ikitoa 10 kg Unapata ngapi? Hapo unapata 85 kg. Mbona? Na weight of huyo weight of y, weight of nyuma. Weight of nyuma ambayo ni x sawa sawa na ngapi yenyewe? 95 
hiyo ndio kwa hiyo ukija ukijumlisha hapo lazima ikuletee 180 hadi jumlisha sasa kwa sasa 5 jumlisha 5 unapata ngapi 5 jumlisha 5 unapata 10 hii na hii 17 na ile 18 kwa hiyo imekuja kabisa kwa hiyo huu ndio ulikuwa mfano wetu wa mwisho cha msingi cha kuzingatia wakati una solve ya kuwa makini kuelewa swali linasemaje linataka nini na ukishaelewa ndivyo utakapoweza kuformulate equation kama hivyo na kuweza kuproceed na kuweza kuendelea kama kawaida. Kwa hiyo cha msingi maswali haya yanahitaji kwanza umakini ulielewe swali, alafu ujue kitu gani kitu gani umeulizwa na uweze kutengeneza equation alafu baada ya hapo kusolve. Na pia si mbaya ukihakikisha mwisho unapopata majibu yako jaribu kuhakikisha je haya majibu ni sasa kama ni sawa niliyopata kwa mfano kama mimi pale nilikosea kuna sehemu hapa nilikosea badala ya kujumlisha mimi nilitoa kwa hiyo baada ya kuja kupata majibu nikajaribu kutafuta ile jumla pale lakini nikaona imeshindikana nikajua kuna sehemu nimekosea kwa hiyo nikaanza kufuatilia nikaona kosa langu nimerekebisha kwa hiyo na wewe unapokuwa unafanya kuwa makini katika kuzingatia wakati unafanya kwa hiyo hii ilikuwa mifano homework nitakupa nitakutolea hapo baadaye homework nitaandika homework tu kwa ajili ya mifano hii alafu next period tutaendelea tena na mifano mingine maswala ya age problem na maswali mengine ambayo yanahusiana na mambo kama haya na hivi ndivyo jinsi ya kusolve solving word problem nadhani nimeeleweka na kama umeelewa zaidi na umefurahia somo basi hakikisha una subscribe katika mtatuzi TV unabonyeza chini ya hii video kwa chini hapo kwa baada ya ile nembo ya mtatuzi ile jina la mtatuzi kuna button nyekundu imeandikwa subscribe kwa hiyo bonyeza hiyo button ya kusubscribe na pia uh, itatokea alama ya kengele utabonyeza alama ya kengele na utakapofanya hivi utakuwa umeonyesha ushirikiano wako na utakuwa wa kwanza kupata taarifa kwa kila video mpya ambayo nitakuwa ninaingiza katika mtatuzi TV. Kwa hiyo asanteni sana kwa kunisikiliza na ushauri kwa wanafunzi kwamba itaidini kipindi hiki cha likizo kuwa mnafanya revision zaidi na kufanya maswali mengi kama mna past paper, mna vitabu vya mazoezi, basi hakikisha unafanya kila siku unasoma na kufanya mitihani mbalimbali na kuweza kufanya marudio ili shule zitakapofunguliwa basi na wewe uweze kuwa active na kuweza kuendelea na masomo mengine ambayo yatafuata cha msingi ni kuzingatia maelezo ambayo tunatoa na kufanyia kazi usisubirie mpaka mzazi yeye akusimamie jisimamie wewe mwenyewe ujitambue kwamba wewe ni mwanafunzi na na lengo lako ni kusoma hasa kwa yale madarasa ya mitihani darasa la saa darasa la 4 na la saba mnatakiwa nyinyi wenyewe mjitume mweze kusoma bila hata kusimamiwa na mzazi kwa sababu tufungua shule tutamalizia syllabus lakini pia vile vile kuna mitihani ya taifa ambayo iko mbele yenu kwa darasa la saba nyie mnamaliza na darasa la nne mnamaliza kuingia darasa linalofuata. Kwa hiyo ushauri wangu kwa wanafunzi ukipindi hiki wakitumia vizuri si muda wa kucheza wala si muda wa kuangalia movie wala si muda wa kufanya mambo ya kijinga ni muda wa kujisomea na kufanya ibada na kumomba Mwenyezi Mungu atuondolee haya majanga ya ili janga la maradhi ya corona katika nchi yetu na miji yetu na mambo yaweze kwenda vizuri. Asanteni sana. Hakunisikiliza.